What is up, YouTube? This is Serpentine and I'm a big co op, and I am back again. Thank you for joining me today as we play a little bit more Romero Aftermath, trying to get a better feel for the game. Now, when we last left off, I was doing nothing. I was just bumping my gum, which I will continue to do because I like gum and I like to bump them and I like to chew it. Bubblicious is like the best gum like ever. My kids don't even know about Bubblicious. I chew tried it now though. I like tried it sugar free stuff because I'm not. I have. I'm already sweet enough. I already have enough sweetness in my body betwixt my skeletal frame, so I don't need any more sweetness. So I chew sugar free gum. Um, there's a cloth bag back there last time. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. And homebrewed penicillin. Penicillin. What is this? Drop one, drop one, drop. Medicinal use. Okay, so I use a call the syrup, cold syrup. I use the syrup because I got tired of sipping on it, so I just decided to use it. Break into. What does it break into? Uh. Okay. All right. I suppose. Okay. All right. Well. Okay. Okay. I am a thirsty Caden to death. So I'm gonna drink this, and we're gonna go ahead and break this into some like scrappy bits, and we're gonna continue on this way. I need to find some more water, some more aqua, some more like, crude harvesting act, some more agua fe. Cause you know, it's scooching. It's scooching to what I'm saying. I need water. I need to hydrate my body. I need to replenish my fluids that I am rapidly sweating out from beating zombies. That's how I lose most of my fluid from beating zombies. Because I whack them profusely about their 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 face and neck. And their brain housings. Okay, see this animation looks like I'm stabbing if I hit this. Stab. Stab with the stick. But on this one, it looks like I'm bludgeoning to death. This is a pretty nice weapon. This is giving them the, this is this is handling what we call the business. The proverbial business. It's paying bills, it's running um, all its errands, it's doing its meetings, it's getting children to their little league practice on time, and it's handling business. So we like that. We like things that handle business. We don't want a lazy weapon that kind of just lays there when you swing, it just kind of flops around and goes, all right, I'll swing around and hit this guy eventually. Just yeah, I'll do it on my own time though. Yeah, we don't want that. We want weapons that respond and they take care of what we want them to take care of. Namely, us. Our bodies and our chestal sections and our face pieces. I like my face piece to be, to remain in intact and not busted up or chewed on by zombies. Preferably not chewed on. Yeah, that hurts. I had my face chewed on by crickets like when I was little. Oh, it sucked. Oh, oh my god. Anyways, I got chills. Oh my god, you guys should see. I got chills. Every time I tell that story, Oh, I have a, a, an unbelievable fear of like crickets and grasshoppers. Oh, just thinking about it give me the chills. Like I, uh, you don't even know. You don't even know, dudes. Oh, for real. It looks like somebody's structure. It was a rebel flag. Oh, they're getting. But yeah, see, you can like you got to get a lot of materials to build, and then you can come and you just hold, you just build stuff. That's pretty neat. I like that. But uh, what is this? A tree. Stand here at your own risk. You will not like this, like the results. Okay, yeah, no. When you get a, like a message like that, like stand here if you want to. Uh, I wouldn't suggest it, but we're not gonna dissuade you. That's when it's like mm, the game is like telling you to move. It's like, yeah, you really shouldn't stand there. It's like when somebody's like, you know, hey, don't uh, whatever you do, don't open the door, and then they leave. And like the first thing you do, you're like, oh, screw that. You like rip the door off the hinges. You're like, what's going on? What's in here? Why didn't they want me to look? And then it's like a murder, and you like, you know, blast you in the face with a machete. Or, yeah, you can get blasted in the face with a machete, I guess. He like chops you and twine, and you're like, oh man, I should have left the door closed. The guy comes back and sees your dead body. He's like, I told you. I told you. That's where we keep our pet murderer. Yep, I had a pet serial killer, and you told you not to look in there because he wasn't fed. And you can't wet him or feed him after midnight or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, so we're going to beat the zombie in the head. So, Oh, there's a survivor. Holy crap. What's up, dude? All good. All good. We are going to rapidly take off in this direction because we want no parts of that guy. No 
part of that gentleman whatsoever. Especially since our gun is empty and well, he's coming from there, so odds are this gentleman just came from that area. So we're gonna go over here. I don't think it's worth going on, so we're gonna go cut north and head sort of back this way. We'll go this direction. We'll go yonder. Well, I don't know. I don't, it seems like the respawn rates are pretty fast, so maybe we go. Maybe we will go over here and have a look, see, take a gander at this, because I like gandering, I like and meandering, and doing other type of during things. I just wish it was daytime. No, or maybe this guy picked this place clean because no, oh, there's floaty stuff. There's magical floating things, items. Oh, look, there's more floaty magicness. Homebrew penicillin, homebrew penicillin. Packing tape. Eh, I am pretty sure I can utilize packing tape for something. But right now, bundle of what? Bundle of logs. I thought I said bundle of loss. Eh, there's a bag of fail right there. A bag of fail. You pick up a bag of fail. Yeah, you're gonna just fail. It's like a bag of fail. You know what a bag of fail is? It's an it's explosives. It's like a bag with a bunch of like grenades with the pins pulled. Yeah. Go ahead, pick it up. I dare you. I dare you. Pick it up. Go ahead, dude. Pick it up. No, just grab it. Grab it and put it all in your inventory. Put it in your inventory slots and see how far that gets you. So we're gonna go up in here and check this place. Charcoal chunks. We'll take these charcoal chunks. Because that's exactly what I love to have rattling around. Charcoal is great. Charcoal is what people don't you like or what a lot of people don't know is charcoal is great. Charcoal is great to use when you're um when you have a stomach ache and you're out in a survival situation and you you get sick. Charcoal is really, really, really it's a fantastic thing to have because it purif you can use it to purify water and for like tummy aches when your tummy is like, you know, you got the rumbly bumblies in your tummy, you can utilize it. And it works great. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't know that. Break into what? Okay, rupture get it. Uh so you have nine male bullets. I'm gonna go ahead and drop these. Drop, drop them all, drop them all, drop them all. Because these look like they're fairly easy to get a hold of. I'm gonna drop these because we have some gues already. We're gonna go ahead and drop these chemicals. And we're gonna pick up these. I don't know why. I just have this thing where I, you know, I need to pick up bullets. I gotta pick up bullets because you never know. When you're gonna get that gun, cause uh, I don't know how many times I've been playing and I've had like a bunch of bullets, and I'm like, oh, I'm carrying all these bullets in, and then I just like get rid of them, and then I go like two doors down, and then I find like the gun that I had like a, a trillion bullets for, but then I go back and you know they've, they've either despawned or they glitched into the train. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I want to stab games in the face when they do that. If games had faces, I would stab them. I would repeatedly thrust. A sharp object in the general direction over and over and just I would just say horrible things to the game like you did this to me completely did this to me anyway so we're gonna go over this way and check here this episode may be a little bit shorter due to um, I got there's a couple things I wanted to, to do today with some of these videos um, and I'm not on limited time I just want to get it done in the morning oh excuse me so that I can you know, play a little more. I want to do some stuff with the kids. Plus, I got some other games that I had gotten. Um, and Mortal Kombat 10, Battlefield 4, or Battlefield Hardline, things like that. So, uh, I do apologize. The game, this this playthrough will be a little bit shorter. But, you know, things happen. Things happen. There's, there's things in real life and all that stuff. Real life is rearing its fantastically gorgeous head. Because, all things considering, I may... Uh, that's another hard. I keep thinking that's like a, an axe, axe. But you know, I may have some issues. But I, in in the grand scheme of things, I don't have it that bad off. I you know I I do I, I am kind of upset and a little miserable that I I, I don't work. I can't um, due to medical stuff and having to constantly take pain medication to manage pain medication to manage manage my headache pain. God, I can't even speak. I look rough. What's up? What's up? Anyways, I take pain medication to manage my headaches. 
and you, you can, it's narcotics, and you can't take narcotics when you work. I get dizzy sometimes, plus the seizures. So, you know, I can't work. And, oh, man, one of the worst things ever was when I got out of the Marine Corps, I tried to get a job. And I tried to get a job at McDonald's. And you don't understand. I am the type of person, I just want to work. I just wanted a job. I didn't care what it did. I just, I just wanted to work. I wanted a job. I've never, you know, since I was 15, I believe, I had a job. I think it was 15, 15 or 16. I've always had a job. I've always had a, to, you know, work. I've always had my own means of getting my own financial resources, you know. And I wanted a job, and I applied at McDonald's. I applied at, um, well, this is when I went to Michigan. I, I mean, let me backtrack. Let me rewind that. When I first got out, I got a job. A lot of people were like, oh, you know, I just was like, yeah, I, I was a Marine. I just got out. You know, they, before they didn't even look at anything, oh, you're hired. So I got hired. I did work at Sam's Club uh, for a little bit, and I worked with a friend doing construction, and that worked out okay, but, you know, I was with the headaches and constantly being in pain. It was, it was, it was a bad situation because I was still in a lot of pain, still had the headaches. You know, none, that stuff didn't, you know, that was always there. So, I worked with a friend as long as I could, and it got to the point where it was like, you know, I knew, oh, what's the damn, 34, and this is, we can upgrade to a Supreme Beat Stick. Yeah, we're going to take this little, we're going to use this aluminum bat first. But I got to the point where I knew that I was kind of, he, he was only keeping me on. Hey, as a, a favor to the family. It wasn't that I, when I could work, I worked my ass off. I was a fantastic worker. When I could work, but there were a lot of times where I would get a really, really bad headache. And I used to get headaches so bad my nose would bleed. And that that sucked. That was truly the worst. So, you know, I kind of was like, hey, look, you know, I, I know you're you're giving me and I'm not, I'm the type of person I can't I can't work like that. That's not it's like getting a handout. I, I just I couldn't do it. And I was like, you know what? I know you're doing this, you know, as a favor to my parents, and I do appreciate it, but, you know, I, I'm going to go ahead and seek other employment and let you hire somebody that's worth a damn. And that was, that took a lot for me to say, you know, because that hurt my pride, because I knew, I knew. And he was like, you know, we talked about it, and he was like, you know, when you work, you were, you know, one of the best damn workers I ever had. I never was like, I never said no. God, I crawled into, we had a busted pipe at one of the stores we were working at, because um, he owned uh, some Arby's franchises, and he was the vice president of the company, his father owned it, but we did the maintenance for all the stores, and he had like 40-something stores, and we like did the maintenance on one of the stores, like the pipe busted or something, and we got down and dirty, we were climbing through just the nastiest, grossest human excrement, like in the, we because the pipe busted, and we had to you know, fix it, so I, you know, I jumped right in, you know, and it was, I was, well, we were climbing through shit, I mean, I can't, I can't sugarcoat it. it, that's what it was, you know, we, we were climbing through shit, and I didn't complain, he, he, oh, another gun, yes, he said, hey, we gotta do this, I said, roger that, and, you know, we got the job done, you know, there was no point in complaining, no point in going, oh, man, you know, this is gross, I don't want to be doing this, we got the job done, and that's what he, he needed me to do. That's what I did, and I was good at that, and he liked the fact that I I didn't complain. I did my job, and he was very grateful for that, but also, you know, he wasn't under the uh, illusion that there were just days where he needed me, and I just, I just couldn't be there, so <sighs> I resigned, I guess, so I went and, you know, I met my wife and I went to Michigan and she was helping me with the VA stuff, and we got that sorted, well, when I first got there, you know, I, I wanted to work, I didn't care what I did, I did, I really did not care, I just wanted a job, I wanted to work, I wanted to do something, I wanted to get out of the house, I didn't want to sit around, because everybody has this, um, oh man, greatest thing in the world, you know, getting a job and, um, Oh no, I can't do that. I gotta do that. I think I have to do it this way. Okay, now hit F6. <laughs> oh, silencer. Alright, now we're oh scoped up. But we have no ammo. It does look cool. 
but I went and put applied for a couple places. I applied at McDonald's. I could not get a job at McDonald's. You know what they told me? The most this I think this I this kind of started the initial bit of depression for me. They told me I was overqualified. They would not hire me because I was overqualified. I was too qualified to flip burgers. And this is what they told me. They were like, we're hiring summer people right now. Because this is no lie. No kidding. I'm not making this up. This is exactly what the manager told me. It's like, we only want to hire kids right now because we know they have no aspirations to ad advance any further than what they you know are. It's the summertime. We want summertime help, and that's it. If we hire you, you're going to excel. You're a Marine. It's against your nature to fail. You are going to do well, and then we are going to have to promote you. And then we promote you, we are going to have to train you, and we are going to have to spend a lot of money, a lot of money to, you know, on you. And they didn't want to do that, so they would not hire me. That is what they said. And I remember sitting there, and I, you know, I'm a grown man. I've been through a lot of stuff. And that almost, I mean, that seriously almost brought me to tears. That hurt me so bad. And I just was kind of like, you know, I was, I just got really, really, really depressed. And, you know, it was a downward spiral. But being told you aren't going to get hired because you're overqualified, ugh, it's the worst. At a job like me, I mean, it's almost humiliating. It's like... Really, McDonald's, you're not going to hire me because I'm overqualified. I do, however, understand what the, what the um, lady was talking about. And I don't fault her. I understand because it does make sense. You know, everybody was, everybody was going through a hard time. It was a recession. You know, everybody was going through hard times. So, yeah, that is my... Oh, there's a zombie there. I'm going to see what this bat can do. I'm going to see what we can do with this baseball bat. That gun just looks so pimp. Uh, but I'm going to do something with this baseball bat, and then I'm going to go check the house. And then I'm probably going to wrap it up after that but first we're gonna waylay this dude with his bat oh ooh, Barry Bonds dude what Bo Jackson Wade Boggs Jose can take a rated rookie I used to collect baseball cards yeah in garbage bell kids ah garbage bell kids were great but you know kids nowadays they just don't know all the great stuff we had growing up I mean they missed everything from the good cartoons to the good toys like G.I. Joe, I don't care what anybody says to this day, still some of the greatest toys ever. Um, like Centurions, great toys. Another oh, it's another aluminium baseball bat. Um crafted nine millimeter relics. The buyer has like nine and somebody just like stencil nine millimeter on them. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this. And we'll actually we'll use it because I may have, you know, gotten sick along the way. We're gonna drink this. Cool down active. And you know what? You don't touch my cooldowns. Be activating my cooldowns all willy nilly. I appreciate that game. And then not informing me that, oh, what is that? Flame on torch. So, huh? So basically, it's just a torch. Okay, well, that's kind of ridiculous to put all that other, uh, to give it an official sounding title and crazy nomenclature of the it's a, a flame on torch that uses gas. It's a torch. It's, that's it. It just burns. You just light it and it burns. Instead of having me looking at it confused and like, now I feel dumb for staring at the torch as long as I did. Going, like, what is that? I don't know. It's flame on a torch. I don't get it. And it's a regular damn torch. But yeah, I'm actually this game is actually pretty fun. You know, it's 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 nice and would I recommend it? Um, I can't 100% say I would recommend this for people to play. If you like, you know, if you enjoyed. Uh, Infestation, then by all means. But you know, if you're looking for a zombie experience, there are some other games out there I would suggest playing first before this one. But that does not, I don't want to diminish from this game. This game, so far, what I played, we're going to head this way. So far, what I played, I have enjoyed, but I mean, there are, I like the new features and everything, but I can't, you know, I can't wholeheartedly want to since say, yeah, go out and buy this game. They do have a bad, you know, they do have a track record. So you have to take that in consideration. Did I search this house here? I want to say yes, but at the same time, I don't think I have. I really need some more beverages, so I'm going to, like, pretty much forsake everything else for beverages. 
because in the name of love, I need beverages. But, oh, don't stop, get it, get it. Okay, what is that over there? Bottle, bottle of acid? I'm not sure that's safe to carry around. A bottle of acid, I wouldn't be carrying around a bottle of acid. I, I got, uh, the hydrochloric acid. I had some acid splash into my eye when I was scrubbing the floor after we tiled, and all my eyes swelled up. It hurt so bad. It was terrible, agonizing pain. I did not like it. I had to go to the emergency room, and they like flush my eye out. And, and I don't know if you ever had your eye flush, but when they flush it, it's like this fire hydrant pressure like system that they use, and they kind of strap your face down, and they have this thing that opens your eye, and it's whoosh, and you're like ah, and it's like you know. Your, your pupil and your cornea gets, you know, shot out of your eye due to the water pressure. It's terrible. My name is AB Co-op, and I want to thank you guys for joining me today as we play around with some more Romero's Aftermath. Uh, I'm going to play a little bit more. Yeah, that's the name of the restaurant from the other one. I'm going to play a bit more, and I hope that you guys stick around for that and see if we can dissect this game like a ninth grade biology class. This is the frog and we have the scalpel and we're going to get busy. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.